everybody. So it's uh, Saturday evening. I keep thinking it's Sunday. Nope. It's not Sunday. Uh, it's Saturday evening. Today was a big day for me. Big day. We had an hour and a half run today. We went to Central Park. I officially ran 7.44 miles. That is the furthest I ever have gone, and I never thought I would ever go that far. Mm -hmm. I am so tired. Your legs hurt? Yeah. You're like, t like sleepy? I'm just, I have no energy left. Zero. Oh. I didn't sleep last night either. Because of the run? No, because I was, I had a lot of energy last night. Remember we talked about this? I didn't go to bed, bed till late, and then I woke up in the middle of the night. And right. Yeah, no. But you ran for an hour and a half. There was, how much walking do you think took place in there? Mm, a lot towards the end. Eight minutes, 10 minutes total? 10 minutes probably. But that's really impressive. Almost seven and a half miles. It's really far. In an hour and a half, the longest you've ever run. She actually- I don't want to ever do it again. That was awful. You, 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 you cursed at me during the run at one point, right? Yeah, at the halfway mark. Yeah. I gave him a big ol' F you. I didn't believe, really, I didn't know, I thought she was like talking about music or like talking to herself like, we're, we're gonna do this! No, no, that's not what happened. Um, you looked really good while doing it. That's good. Now what when, that mean? When you, I mean, you, you didn't look like you were gonna keel over and, and pass out. Well, that's good. Could you have kept running or, that's what I'm curious, did you stop because no, I Everything was hurt? Yes. Okay. Yes. Really impressive though. Literally, my feet were like, you have to stop now. Feet, not legs. Stop. All right. I told you, my tendons underneath my feet were- They're being used like, for the first literally time. Literally every step. Being used for the first time, it is exciting. I spent the afternoon sitting on the sofa, guys. Well, you've earned it. Seven and almost a half mile. Good job. Thanks for making me I hate my life. You're welcome. Beyond that, now that you have burned, I think you burned. How many calories did I say you I burned? I have no idea. You burned a bunch. You burned a bunch of calories. And then I made up for it. Well, let's make up for a little bit more with a treat box. I fear hmm. that you're going to say this is the last treat box we're getting. It's possible. It is possible. Don't let me down, treat box. Don't let me down. Let's see what's inside. This month, doesn't it feel good to have like a treat box after a run? Huh. All right, nothing impresses her. It's really, it's really sad. I'm kind of tired today, guys. I feel like you're always tired. But today's treat box, ooh, In please. India, India. This month's treats come to you from India with uh, 1.28 billion people located in South Asia. Mm-hmm. Uh, India stands out as a country rich in culture and history. The Taj Mahal, which is what's on this There's monster. a signature dish from India. If that came into focus, you could have paused and have a signature dish. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on to... It's a very full box. It is a full. It's a very full box. Full of treats. Um, should we go with the bigger thing first? Yeah, let's And work our way... Oh, this could be yummy. This is... Chips. This is... Potato chips. A bag of whole except, pot toast except chips. they're taro chips, um, which is a different kind of root vegetable, similar to a potato but not the same. All right, is that like yeah taro boy? Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's see. Let's try these. Do they just smell like chips? They smell like uh, plantains. They have purple in them. They do. I have purple in them. Oh, they're not bad. Good amount of salt. Yeah. They kind of crunch and then they get a little mushy. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're not bad anymore. They taste. They're all right. Like healthy chips. Yeah. Right? Okay. I can't read. Oh, no, it's in English. 160 calories, it serves two. Well, there's two of us. That's not bad. Um, I don't know, the biscuits. Where's the sheet that has all the stuff Here, on? do you want a sheet? I do. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go into these biscuits. Parlay G. Oh, this is weird. It opens up like this way as opposed to that way. 
Are you? Oh, this is not. This is not Indian, by the way. This this is a bonus item that's in your box. It's from Taiwan. They are looking sweet yeah. and crunchy potato chips made with taro root and flavored with sugar and salt. I didn't taste any. I sugar. didn't taste any sugar. Okay. What can you try a biscuit? Yeah. What do you think? What are these? First ones. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Buttery. These are good. Parle G or Parle G biscuits are small rectangular flat based baked biscuits and they are the number one best selling biscuits in the world. Really? Mm hmm. I mean, they are yummy. Mm hmm. Those are really good. Holy crap. The G in the name apparently stands for glucose and genius because these biscuits are a source of strength for the body and the mind. Just what you need right now. Oh, gently. I should have more biscuits. All right. Now we're going for a good day. Butter cookies. More cookies. It's all about crackers and cookies today. Mm-hmm. They have like little waves in them. Crazy. Mmm. These are shortbread. It's like shortbread meets cookie. These are good too. I like these. Man, it makes me want to make shortbread. You should make shortbread. This is a good sign of a treat box. So far, biscuits and cookies works for us. Uh huh. All right. Next. 50-50, sweet and salty. Okay. I'm a little nervous about that. That sounds pretty weird. I like sweet and salty, Eric does not. So mm -hmm. he's probably not going to like this very much. We'll see. I'm open. Are they sweet and salty together or? Yeah. It feels like fake rich crackers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not doing it for me. They're okay. Kind of plain. Yeah. Yeah. I can taste a little sweet. I guess I can taste a little salty, so I guess it's... I cannot. Um, do you like mango? I'll try it. You're gonna love mango mood. What is the mango mood with you? Are you going to have one? Mm-hmm. These are mango flavored candies that are made from real mango pulp. We're getting a full, no, we're not getting a full serving of fruit and vegetables, but we are, we are having real mango pulp in our candies. Is it a hard candy? Mm-hmm. Looks like a lozenger. A what? Like a, like a cough shop. You said lozenger. I don't know what a lozenger is, dear. Oh. A lozenge. Lozenger? That's not a real word. This is good. What does it mean? I don't know how we're gonna get to this too. No. What is it? The last thing is a what? A pan facade. Gold. These are really good. Yeah. I really like these. They're very refreshing. These are the last thing in the box, guys. These little ones. These are, um, the flavor is apparently pan. What? That's what it says. A uniquely Indian flavor with sweet and spicy taste, popularly enjoyed as an after dinner treat because of its fresh, sweet flavor. So when you bite into this mango mm -hmm. thing, it's kind of like a chewy center almost. Really? Yeah. Maybe, did you break it in half? I'm chewing it now. Oh, I don't know if I want to. So I have. I want to get to the strawberry looking candy. You do that one. I'm going to yeah. stick with my mango. Ooh, this fragrant. Sweet and spicy. It's supposed to be sweet and spicy? Mm-hmm. I didn't pay attention to you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. No. You know what it tastes like? What? Potpourri. Gross. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be down for that. I'll let you. I'll let you take in that bullet. 
Yeah, it tastes like, like eating potpourri. Like eating like potpourri. Like how you would imagine potpourri would taste if you ate potpourri. Or if there's like a spray mm -hmm. and someone sprayed potpourri in your mouth. All right, so maybe not so much. No, you have to try it. Uh-uh. I'm okay. Yeah, you gotta try one. You gotta try it. You know what? I like the mango. I know, but there's more mangoes in here. Yeah, put your mango in here. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I want to know if I'm if I'm making this up in my head. Potpourri. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Wait, you're not giving it a shot. No. That it tastes like a department store. But it tastes like potpourri. Uh huh. It tastes like a department store potpourri. Like the way that a department store smells, that's how it tastes. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my mango. Not, not my favorite. I enjoy this crepe. This box. There's no chocolate in here. There's no chocolate in here, but there was a lot of crackers. Go crackers, cookies. biscuits, and cookies. I mean, they're all the same to me. No, they're not. I like it. What do you think? Did they survive for one more month? Yeah. You one more it. month. You did tree box. One more month. We're gonna keep this. Although maybe not, maybe not the pan facade. I'm gonna use the pan facade. Excuse these, me. These I want the butter one. Well, too oh. bad you have a mango. So. Fine. Use it for me. And with the mango that, is really good. That's gonna be it for today. Is it? Right. Yeah, I'm I mean, tired. You ran. You're going to bed early. No. I'm gonna stay up and eat some cookies and crackers and biscuits. Sounds like a plan. See what happens. Okay. So, with that, guys, really hope you had a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.